Mizuki. The Freedom Fighters were a delusion. That can't be, though. Yes, it can. This is how it is. How what is? What the hell are you even talking about? This is how it is. Explain this to me! Where did those three go? They didn't go anywhere. They never even were. That's impossible, though. I've been spending every single day with them. We laughed together when we were happy, and comforted each other when times were rough. We fought together for everlasting peace in Akihabara. But now they're gone. Boss, Akari, and Aoi are all gone. Done. They were just delusions given shape. If it were possible to see them again, you know I'd be there right alongside you. I didn't hate them, you know that! So why? Tell me, if I wanted to see them again, where would I have to go? Tell me, please. I, I don't... This is a lost cause. Leave it alone for now. But... Look, just leave it. <laughs> I have something I need to discuss with you all, but not here. Come with me. Mizuki. This place is awfully clean, isn't it? Of course. It was a delusion from the start, remember? Not a hideout. That's right, Reiji. And you and your companions here destroyed it. You! That was quite a production you put on. You're the last person in the world I wanted to see right now. Love you too. I sent in so many agents, but not a one remains. Which might be a sign that I should take off the kid gloves. Now is not the time to mess with us. Kidding. I'm just kidding. Why would I want to fight you anyway? I should be thanking you. Then go home and write us a letter. Come on, Gramps, don't blow a gasket. This was all your doing, after all. Or do you not remember? Every last bit of it. All those people playing... Freedom Fighters, was it? Well, there's freedom and death. Seriously. Leave now. Did you get to have a teary farewell with your friends, at least? Maybe one final group hug? Don't you dare make light of this! Say now. Aren't you a little old to be playing with imaginary friends? I don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> this is priceless. <sighs> I can't take it. It's too good. We're not laughing. But why not? This is hilarious. Shut the hell up. Do my ears deceive me? Is cool as a cucumber Reiji Shinomiya getting feisty? Or maybe you're not so cool. Maybe you're the only one who would get so hot-headed over something so paltry. What is reality? And what is fantasy? Perhaps we need to change the way we talk about these things. Like, who is reality? And who is fantasy? You've been searching for the answer to that for a while, no? My oh my, if looks could kill, I'd be bleeding out right now. Well, you did help me finish my work, so I suppose I can let you go home today. Yay, team! You have my most heartfelt thanks for nullifying that meddlesome delusion. Expect a thank you card in your mailbox. Don't get drowned in delusion while I'm gone. Ta-ta for now. What the hell is his problem? He makes me want to puke. Who is real? And who's fantasy, huh? Asahi? Hey, Reiji. That's the key, isn't it? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'll tell you everything. You learned much of it the hard way already. It's time you learn the true horror of delusion. The true horror? Let's talk about it at Violent Eden. We shouldn't run into any other nasty surprises over there. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on?
business in the delusion scape? Please be well prepared. take it? If it weren't, I wouldn't be drinking. It shows. You haven't looked like this since way back when. And I'm not talking about when you were researching delusions, but just before you started running from them. Okay, Reiji. I think it's time you told us the whole story. What is the true horror of delusion? What's real and what's fantasy? Or who's real and who's fantasy? That's pretty much it in a nutshell. The Freedom Fighters. Yeah, they're pretty much a textbook example. You saw them right before your eyes. They were there. They were real. You spent time with them. Lots of time. But the places you spend time with them at could just be delusions, too. Even friends and family aren't safe from the threat of being mere fiction. Hell, even the spot you're standing on right now could just be all in your head for all you know. Am I even real? Or did somebody dream me up? Once you lose the ability to distinguish what's reality and what's delusion, you've basically lost everything. That's the true horror of delusions. The thing every last one of us should be terrified of. That's terrible. Even knowing the risks, there's still one thing I need to find out. One reason I keep getting involved. I need to know if the love of my life and the time we spent together is real. Or just another delusion. So that's what you meant when you said you hadn't found what you were looking for, even though you found the person. An ex-girlfriend. I totally called it. So what brought a former DAB scum like you out from under your rock and into the light? I ran. I just ran. We'd reached a point where our research was making it virtually impossible to tell what was real at all anymore. Everything I did there might have been a delusion people, the environment, even me, <sighs> made me doubt my own life. My breaking point was when I couldn't figure out if the person I loved was real or not. It scared the hell out of me, so I just ran. But this isn't something that'll go away if you keep your nose clean. You understand your friend's pain, right, Asahi? Mizuki lost some of his closest friends, friends he cared about, who it turns out never existed in the first place. You do get it then. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. What I needed you all to understand. It's a lot to take in. It is. And that's why I want you all to return to your normal lives as soon as possible. Delusions are like a sickness. The best thing I can tell you now is to seek the protection of the Bureau. Are you kidding me? It's for your own good. You need to wake up from any delusions before you do something that you can't undo. What are you saying? <laughs> What's your plan then, Reiji? Until I find my answer, I guess I'll just keep running. Running from this crazy existence we're stuck in. The true horror of delusions? Please. You, uh, good, Yamato? Ooh, save me from the big, scary delusions! You plan on just running away from them for the rest of your life? That's not how an adult should act! Now listen here, you punk. That's what adults are, that's what we do. We're beings who run. The hell? We avert our eyes from inconvenient truths and chase blindly after what we want most. Adulthood in a nutshell. That's pathetic. You can't live in your stupid little fantasy dream world forever, damn it. Ray Ray, please control your temper. What? Any of you think you've got it figured out? By all means, tell me. How the hell do I get out of this? How do I escape this damned loop where everything's probably a delusion anyway? Ray Ray, enough! Enough is right. I've had enough. I just need to give up. Give up and go back to them. Just bow my head real low and meekly ask them to make me a normal person again. But then I'll never find my answer. <sighs> you all need to go home now. 
and never show any of your faces near me ever again. Looks like we're not wanted anymore. The hell was his problem anyway? Delusions don't scare me. I understand where he's coming from, though. What Reggie said makes sense, and it is pretty scary to think about. Up until now, I'd never really thought about what